Hi, thanks for joining. This is Anna Olson with Insights into Consciousness tonight on A1R Radio. You can reach me at Anna Olson Intuitive. Dot com. You can also uh, look at my bio on askoneradio.com. It's number one, askoneradio.com. And you can go on askoneradio.com to see where you can get a um, free reading by calling in at the uh, on the number on the, the screen if you kind of look around in there. So tonight I wanted to go over the um, cards that are used during readings and how we do that and why. So this is a really hot topic for a lot of people because many people have been taught for a long time that tarot or oracle cards, angel cards, uh, fairy cards, there's a lot of different types of cards that people use for readings. And there's uh, there's a lot of myths that I'd like to dispel about these cards. Um, I also had been brought up to believe that these were probably something you shouldn't delve into. And now that I have used them for quite some time, I realize that it can be true. And that has to do with the person's thoughts. So we'll go into that a little bit more. But first I wanted to just go over what the tarot deck is. And a lot of people call them tarot. Um, The correct pronunciation is tarot. Um, It's, um, first I want to put a little bit of history into what the tarot cards are. It's a 78 card tarot deck and it's used by people it has two distinct parts the minor arcana which is the lesser secrets it consists of 56 cards there's um they're divided into four um suits of 14 cards each with 10 numbered cards and four court card court cards so the court cards are the king the queen the knight the page jack and each of the four um tarot suits so the earliest known um tarot decks weren't designed with mysticism in mind they were actually meant for playing a games similar to modern day bridge and by the mid 18th century the mystical applications for the cards had spread from italy to other parts of europe so um it's it's basically something that people were sitting in you know um after work or whatever they'd go to uh you know people's houses or you know a restaurant or something and they'd be like playing their their bridge it's a game similar to bridge and what I think are some of these um, insightful, spiritual, intuition, you know, intuitive people came in and they started just sitting down and saying, hey, you know, um, while I'm playing with cards, I'm kind of seeing in this card that this is happening for you. And that was a more socially acceptable way of communicating their intuition and their psychic abilities without saying they were getting it from somewhere else. So I feel that this was more of a social reason why. And this is just um, an interpretation, um, which is what mediums do. Psychics and mediums do. They're interpreters. So I believe that these games were a uh, means to just turn these cards, which had symbols on them, into meanings or uh, messages through symbols. And if you look back into um, scriptures such as the Bible or even um, old Egyptian artifacts, or you're looking at even some codes that they found in um, space, for instance, there's a lot of symbols used for representing intelligence. And um, the main topic of Tarot, or even when I do a medium reading, is the symbols are something that can be interpreted for the use of man. Because some things are beyond our intelligence and some things are beyond our understanding. So to get the message of a higher intelligence from, well, through somebody who does not have the, even sometimes the mental, um, even the IQ to uh, correspond with or to process that kind of intelligence is the symbols are used. Symbols are used throughout history, even through religion, to teach people spiritual practices such as Catholicism. When the Christians and the Catholics came in um, and were, ta- were teaching the natives or the Native Americans or whatnot, the way that they taught them were through pictures, through symbols, because they they didn't have the same language, so they couldn't you know teach them to sit down and read the Bible as quickly as they could. Just use symbols, pictures um, to depict the story of Christ and the disciples and Mary and God. So 
And this is very similar to that. Um, this is a, a symbolism that is based on the frequency, the intention, and the um, teachability of the person who is not just reading the cards, but um, the person who is receiving the message. So there are times that I have um, connected to the highest and greater good, and I've meditated and grounding, grounded before reading, and I have still needed to uh, tell the person they're blocked because they are not on the highest and greater good frequency that I require to perform a reading. And this is just basically the same um, idea as if you're trying to get um, AM or FM through an antenna or a ham radio, or you, you have to be on the right frequency to receive the right message. And um, when you're, when you're operating at the highest and greater good and from love from the heart chakra, it is a nice high vibration and it's clean. It's um, very peaceful. Um, some people would call this the spirit, uh, the Holy, the Holy spirit, um, the Holy ghost, the, you know, you know there's different things that people call it some people call it spirit i just like to call it spirit because most people understand that they understand that oh yeah sometimes i get this message from spirit which feels like spirit so i have um a an italian art um these these originally actually toro was um brought through italy to um, become more of a mystic tool for um spiritual practices so um i have this absolutely beautiful um set here and this is um the botticelli tarot which is a bunch of beautiful italian art and i really admire this deck because it works for men it works for women it has the masculine and the feminine and it has these really beautiful metallic gold um designs in them which i feel reflects money and um, abundance so not just money but abundance of all kinds meaning abundance of happiness of of all the things that we want abundance in many forms love relationships career um, happiness so this is a um, deck that I work with often and um, the three cards I got this morning were um, strength and this depicts the woman with the lion and she's taming the lion. Um, she's in a beautiful setting and um, it's basically a woman who's tamed the lion. She has immense strength and that represented my past with um, some um, issues that I have been dealing with that I really needed to use strength to overcome. So because it was inverted when I pulled this card, the way that I read that was that this taming the lion and the strength um those trials and those really difficult situations are in the past because it was also in the past uh place card area so there's past present and future so the present i got um queen of wands this is queen of wands which um can represent many different things if you look in the guide it will say one thing if you look in the many books that, that tell you what each card means it's wonderful to uh study and learn about but i got from this that um it had to do i, I had another card over this one and long story short short it was telling me that i um am pretty established in career and things like that and what i'm going to do and i've figured out you know which path to take which is true and then uh for future i got temperance so i felt that um i would have temperance in my situation in the future so that's just a real quick uh three card draw past present future um and the some of the symbolism that can happen with the, the tarot deck um usually when i sit down people you know everybody does it a little differently but when i get my deck um i sit down and i will just use you know a little bit of a, a shuffle a of my cards and i will um cut the deck and I use, you know, left hand, right hand. It, it does have significance. We have the left side feminine. We have the right side masculine in our, of our bodies. Um, it all ties into not just energy, but um, energy fields in the body. Um, I incorporate Reiki. I incorporate protection, shields, 
uh, even Chinese medicine and Chinese healing practices into it. So, um, and Buddhist practices, Christian practices, I have just about a a little of everything in my readings. So that's just a little bit of history on the Tarot. It is just symbolism that we've always had. And we get messages from each card when we, um, when we look at the picture, it can mean a million different things for different people. So you look at the picture, you meditate on it, and you just get the message from spirit through the symbolism. And then you show the person the card and you teach them what you're getting. You teach them about it, about their situation in their life, why it's coming up, and you go over it. So we um, use the symbolism as a means of teaching and of um, getting a message in a picture because when we do a reading, when I do a reading, the experience of um, getting these messages is so experiential that I need um, to feel it, see it, sometimes even hear it. And most of the time I can see it in my mind's eye exactly what's happening. So these cards will help me to get the story, even though um, the cards aren't I don't know if I, I really, really believe that you pull a, the exact card at the right time. I mean, I've done that many times. Um, and I kind of wondered if I was just getting the right message from the symbolism in it. But um, I, I do believe in angels and I believe that angels will also, um, or guides will help you to guide you to the right card to pull as well. So, and they know what's in through all of them because they can see through them. The angels can see through cards. And so can spirits. They can see um, multidimensionally um, unlike us. So, um, that's the basics of the tarot. I'd love to, um, just pick a few cards and, um, say what I'm getting from them and uh, for this show. And then I'd love to hear from call, like people who are viewing, um, you can comment on underneath the video. You can, um, email me at Anna Olson and just go under contact me and email me you just let me know what you get from these cards so the first one is going to be the five of pentacles and this is the one that i already had before this is uh basically it looks like a beggar and there's money falling all around this man it's the five of pentacles um i'm getting that this is the economy around the world this is a lot of people's money situation right now that even though they have a good um flow of money in their bank account that there has been an issue with the economy and being able to keep the money in the bank with all the expenses and um, cost is going up, even though money can be coming in with a lot of households, it's hard to keep it in the bank because of the prices that are going up. Um, so people are having to work even harder, even though they're making more money, they have to work harder. So that's what I'm getting from that. And um, I'm also getting that the high rate of divorce separation and relationship issues um, among marriages, among people, families is really affecting this. Um, That when you have to support two households, it can really, really weigh on the finances and that this is a reason to really work on relationship skills. And this is a, a reason that we should really put down our phones during the day, get off of social media, quit having online affairs, quit talking to people that you're not supposed to talk to, quit doing stupid stuff that can um, basically pull apart your family and things like that. But that's all the stuff that's coming from this card um, for a majority of people and not to judge anybody, but just that those are the things that are in, uh, just really affecting not just um, economy, but families what people can afford, the housing market. uh, It has a domino effect. It does have the butterfly and domino effect um, over the higher consciousness. And so I'm going to get a card like this. The first thing I want to do is raise the consciousness. So um, if I wanted to raise the consciousness for this and correct it, I would invite the highest and greater good, the divine light through my crown chakra, through the top of the head, comes out through my heart chakra. And I um, imagine and visualize that um, healing message and um, love so that people feel secure and they feel um, safe in talking to their partner or their spouse. And I have that spread over a very large geographical area all over the United States, all over Canada, all over the world. 
and I imagine it going around. And, and if you don't think that you're that powerful as one person, think again, try it. Um, try it when you're on a train, try it when you're in a restaurant. Um, you emanate divine positive energy through the crown chakra out, out of your heart chakra. You ground it through your feet into the heart of the earth, into the earth's core, comes back up through the divine. And you imagine what you want to happen. You can, um, you, you can basically um, really um, affect a whole lot of people that way. So, um, that's that's this card here. Now, I'd love to do a reading on Isabel in Portugal. I'm really excited to have somebody from Portugal do a reading on today. Isabel? Yes. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm just fine. Okay. So you have, um, you'd like to do a reading today? Yes, please. And, um... What is the topic or the the subject, or would you just like a basic reading? Um, well, actually, I am um, I am uh, waiting for my boyfriend to come over. Um, mainly, I'm waiting for him to come over up until the end of the year, and so I would like to ask. If this will be like this. If it'll be like this, meaning... Yeah, so, meaning I am in Portugal, is in another country, and okay. um, we are doing plans for this to happen. Mm -hmm. And I would like to know if uh, it will be. It will be okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> he's supposed to... Without problems, to... without delays... Without uh -huh. um, intermission, <laughs> if he's yeah. going to have he, all the conditions he, he wants to come. So if is this, be, the, mm -hmm. is this in the military or is this him with a job or what is this reason that he's not with you? Uh, actually, it's because we are from different countries and uh, he's working there. I'm working here. Um, oh, yeah. So Okay. A few things, a few um, things going on, but still, it's uh, joining together to uh, talk about what is going on and then see how to go. Yeah. Yeah. So to um, understand if we are going to be here, if I'm going to be there, if we're going to go both to some other place, like this. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. So. It's about the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I do see that there needs to be a clear communication with him on what the expectations of your relationship are, because I feel like you're okay. a little more committed to this than he, than his understanding or how, how committed he really is. So I feel like there needs to be a good communication put in place between the two of you where you really set in stone what your expectations are and what you're ready for. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I am using the tarot tonight, and I've got the moon for you. It's La Luna, and it is, um, I'm just going to hold it up for the video, for the viewers. It's basically a woman who um, is living by the moon, and she she looks like she's kind of in touch with her shadow self. She's, she's um, high above with angel wings, and she's living with the moon, and she has um, this view of a city that she's, rise, she's rising above it. And she has the stars in her hair and she's this really wonderful, um, angelic woman. And I feel like this depicts you, that you have this um, good heart about you. you. You have this angelic personality. And um, the, the only way that I, that I can say this is that there, it's going to be hard for you to find a man who deserves your sensitivity and your gentleness in your current mm -hmm. um, location. And your, I feel like you are a pure. You have a pure heart, and um, you will wait for you know this man because you are so loving and sweet and kind. And this is very rare. So you're a rare gem, and it's really important for you to make sure that you are on the same page as this this your boyfriend, and that you guys you're communicating very clearly what you want because. 
he is a little, I think he's a little more fun loving and just kind of going with the flow and not, not making plans as much as you would like. Hmm. Um, he just, I feel like he is um, very interested in you mm-hmm. and that he, he, he really does care a lot about you. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I'm not sure that he understands exactly how much this is affecting you. Has this been really weighing heav- heavily on you? Are you feeling lonely? Uh, well, actually, this is a relationship going on for like 10 years. And uh, we okay. had a lot of people going in the middle of us uh, with yeah. very, very nasty situations. Um, uh, so we, we would be together many times and always, always someone getting in the middle for money interests, uh, social interests and economy interests and stuff like that. So, um, how to say, I, I agree with you in a few, in a few points, but, uh, in the point that he doesn't understand how important it is for him to be here. Um, more or less, because he knows uh, what have been going on. I mean, uh, problems and problems, you know, like people getting in the middle, taking advantage of him, then taking advantage of me, then lies. And, well, this is almost like a Mexican soap opera. And yeah. Um, yeah. finally, at this moment, what I have to say to you in a concrete way is that more or less everything is more clean now um, mm-hmm. because we have discovered side by side what happened, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I keep asking him uh, really to come or otherwise I have to go. Maybe uh, there is a problem in communications. I don't know. I'm not sure if he's receiving all my communications. That's a, that's a point. Right. And, uh, you know, I really feel you have to put your foot down with him. He He is... It needs to be a very clear message that you need this fill in the blank. I need you to come here and be with me and find the job here and make it happen or Mm -hmm. this will happen. I will have to, I will have to end this as a relationship because he, he doesn't see it as seriously because it's been like this for so long. It's kind of been on again, off again. He, he kind of sees it like, well, if, if I don't really have to commit, then, you know, and it's, it's sort of like there's always going to be an, a reason or somebody coming in between you guys. And I'm glad you said that there were people coming in between you guys because I'm always hesitant to bring that up because I definitely felt that energy. And he could mm-hmm. be committed to you and really be happy with you. Um, I'm at like, I, I don't want to put him down at all. And I'm not trying to say anything against him because that's really not where I'm going with this. I think it's just you guys have different personalities and different upbringings. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, his idea of commitment is different than yours. You you need a man who is who likes to be with you more of the time. Mm-hmm. And this, this guy, you know, he really just needs you to, to say, look, this is what I need or I'm going to move on. Okay. And I feel like he would come to come out next to you if you really laid down the law and you really showed him that you were serious about it. Okay. He needs boundaries. So he needs some, you know, he needs some real clear boundaries um, that you're gonna, you're just going to stop this if if it doesn't get serious. So. Mhm. Mm-hmm. I understand. And you don't think yeah. this is gonna scare him, and then he's gonna go away. No. Well, I mean. <laughs> It may, yeah, it'll scare him a little. You know, I mean, that's the only thing that's really going to work with him if you want him to move out and to make a commitment. Otherwise, this is going to go on for another 10 years. Oh, really? I don't want that. <laughs> he's he's just a free spirit. He just, he doesn't worry too much about things and put too much emphasis on these things. He's a little bit immature that way emotionally. <laughs> compared yeah, compared to you. Yeah. Your mom sure. Yeah, that's true. And your that is what it says, so. <laughs> yeah, but the reason why you're, you're, you know, you're saying these things to him and you want him to come your way is because you're more sensitive than he is. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. There's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. 
no. So yeah, okay. um, I hope that so I, I have 30 seconds left, but you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for calling in. Okay, thank you so much too. Bye-bye. <laughs> So that's a that's an example of how we use the tarot. So I had this this card here and I saw her feeling a little bit isolated and a little bit lonely and very sensitive with the stars in her hair and this angelic um, vibe around her and this guy not appreciating that about her. And I really, really wish you good luck, Isabella. I send you love and light and um, wish you good luck with everything that you're going through um, over in Portugal. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I really appreciate my viewers. Please message me at Anna Olson Intuitive if you'd love to do a reading with me. I do medium readings. Um, I do psychic readings, any area of your life, love, career, family. So, um, or any topic that you want and uh, everything is 100% confidential. You're safe with me.